Hey guys, it's Josh, the uh, resident content guru and unkempt beard specialist at RK Motors. Uh, today, we're gonna take a look at this awesome Camaro Pro Tour we have in the studio here. Uh, first, let's start with a little kind of a definition of what we're talking about. If you're new to the hobby, uh, there are two key terms on a car like this. You're gonna hear resto mod, and you're gonna hear Pro Tour or Pro Touring resto mod if you really wanna get fancy about it. Uh, they're kind of thrown around and interchanged at this point in, you know, when everybody's describing, because this is a lot of the market now is a car like this. It's been upgraded from its original uh, performance and drivability uh, specs. So the, the original uh, definition, I guess, of resto mod would be a car that's had an engine or a transmission swap or, you know, something kind of basic done to it in the grand scheme of things. Uh, the traditional definition of a pro tour is a car that's been taken above and beyond that. So here at RK Motors, we would classify something as a Pro Tour that has had chassis or suspension work. Uh, and some of this just had maybe a different engine put in it would be a resto mod. Um, and that goes all the way up to, you know, Pro Tours go anywhere from something that has simply a new chassis to, you know, this, the builds you see at SEMA that are featured, you know, in magazines and on TV and stuff like that. So first up, uh, the paint on this car is Inferno Orange Metallic, which is a General Motors color. It was a factory color from, I think, around 2014. It's a really nice color. Uh, if you get close to the paint, you can really see the metallic, but from far away, it looks a little more red than orange. Uh, visually, some modifications to the car. You got, of course, the painted bumper. Uh, it has an RS package, which, you know, if you know Camaros, that's from the factory. The only difference with this car is uh, the headlight doors have been upgraded to Detroit Speed Electronics. So you're not going to get a stuck headlight door like you would say an old old school vacuum actuated, you know, RS grill. Um, other things of note, cow induction hood, pretty uh, standard fare on Camaro 69 Camaros these days. Uh, Detroit Speed Electric wipers. These are second generation Camaro mirrors. They're also used on a lot of other GM cars, but for this reference, we'll use second generation Camaro. Back here, you've got a traditional D80 deck lid spoiler that somebody's modified to include a third brake light and LED tail lights with billet housings, probably from Marquez Design, but there are a few different companies that make this style of tail light. Okay, let's transition to under the hood, the important part. So this is a great example of a resto mod in that this is a modern motor that's been put in a vintage car. This is a Chevrolet Performance LS376 480. Uh, it's pretty much a full kit you can buy from Chevrolet, uh, you know, aside from things like the front accessories and stuff like that and headers. Uh, it's really, really a great choice for any kind of vintage car because uh, it's, it's factory proven. It's basically an LS3 that they still produce. Well, not anymore, they were producing very recently. Uh, with an LS hot cam in it. Um, horsepower is 495, so it's a little bit more stout than, you know, factory LS3s. Uh, a lot of nice other stuff in under here. Auto rad radiator, polished brake components, um, nice hood supports and brace bars. All right, next up, let's open the doors and take a look at the interior. Very nice custom interior in this car. Uh, it was installed by Chuck Hanna. If you're familiar with the classic car hobby, you probably have heard that name and uh, know that his work is really good. A um, lot of tactile changes as far as surfaces you touch, uh, modern bucket seats, full length console. Uh, but other things have also been upgraded like usability things, new speed hut telemetry, really nice dash there that they actually created using a 69 Camaro dash and the 68 Camaro dash. Nice speed HUD accessory gauges down there. That's kind of a, a quintessential muscle car thing to have your gauges down on your console. Your, your Camaro and Mustang guys will be really familiar with that. So a big selling point to a car like this is modern air conditioning. You know, if you've been in an old car and you have a car with headers, it gets really hot really fast in the summer. So we have a vintage air system in this car. 
Uh, we also have modern audio, and the audio is even taken a step further. It has a kicker amp and a pretty big subwoofer hidden in behind panels in the trunk. Transitioning under the car, you can really begin to tell what separates a Pro Tour from something that's just a traditional restoration. Start with suspension. This car has Detroit Speed front and rear suspensions. Uh, the rear is their quarter link setup. It's a four link suspension. And the front is their hydro formed subframe. Uh, Detroit Speed makes some really good stuff. We've actually built a couple of cars with their components. Part of the Detroit Speed kit is the narrowed 12 bolt rear end. Uh, you can order a variety of rear ends, but this one has a 12 bolt under, 12 bolt under it. Uh, it has a Detroit locker differential and 373 gears. Uh, that brings us to the transmission. So the LS376 is backed by a Performa built level three 4L60E four speed automatic. What all that means is it's pretty heavy duty transmission. It's uh, capable of uh, pretty much keeping the reins on about 800 horsepower. Uh, it has a Yank 3200 stall converter in it, which means you're going to get a lot of off the line torque. So this car was built to accelerate pretty quick. Um, stepping outside through the wheels and tires, uh, whoever built this car was very serious about maybe an autocross or, you know, even taking it to the track. Uh, you have bare six piston power assisted brakes at every corner with 14 inch rotors, serious braking hardware. And then these are really nice. You have Fixie Profeel wheels. Uh, they're uh, the, the Fixie, it's basically the Fixie classic wheel as far as the design, but the Profeels are optimized for tracks because they took a lot of the weight out of the center of the wheel and it's still just as strong. Uh, other interesting details, uh, you have a nice Dynatech X-pipe, um, Flowmaster mufflers always sound great, uh, larger fuel cell, so you can get a little bit more gas or keep a little bit more gas. Uh, subframe connectors to stiffen the car up quite a bit. And yeah, and over restored floors, as you can tell, gloss black paint instead of, you know, typical satin black stuff that comes on here. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up for this Pro Tour and Camaro. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we're, we're looking, we're pretty open to doing this a lot more and doing it with different styles of cars. So be sure and tell us what you want to know really trying to connect with you guys and connect with the hobby through this project. Thanks a lot.